hi this is Swana from Nell Stand for Fun I hope you guys are having a great day I had a terrible cold maybe you can still hear it in my voice but I'm back and I wanted to show you guys how to create this cute manicure and we'll be using the advanced stamping technique I hope you guys enjoyed the video for this manicure we'll be using a plate from Bunny Nails this is her holiday plate B and we'll be using this image right here on the top with the hearts which we'll be filling in with color let me quickly tell you the colors I use let me move the plate for my base color I use this beautiful color from Bettina called Claire for the stamping I will be using Rika's Blackout for the colors I use Bettina Celebrate, China Glaze Ecstasies, and Brimmel's Blue Eye Girl. Okay, let's begin. I apply my polish to the plate. Gently swipe. Pick up. Okay, there we have the image. And now we're going to start to fill it in with color. Remember, you can use any color you want. Doesn't have to be the same colors. And also, you can do you can use another stamping image. And now we start filling it in. Of course, you can use a dotting tool or a fine detail brush, whatever is easiest, you know, for you guys. I want to show you guys in real time. Okay, I think I'm going to stay right there because I am going to stamp over my index finger so it doesn't need to be filled in completely. Now we have to wait until it dries. So what I do is I check on it lightly touch it if I still see my fingerprints then I know it's not ready but I wanted to do this in real time so you guys can see see it's already dried now all we have to do is to apply it on the nail you do have to apply some pressure then start to roll it off oops we have to be careful with anything else and we start rolling it off okay let me just remove this little piece right here and there we go I'm gonna show you guys one more time I'm gonna stamp on my thumb now I also want to show you guys how big the images are you don't have to expand it or nothing okay so they are very big so as you can see it's gonna cover my thumb now we start filling it in like we did before
just take your time. Okay, now we'll finish it with the last color. Okay, now we wait until it dries. Drying time also, you know, can be different. It all depends on the polish. If the polish is a little bit more slower, then it will take a little bit more time. But as you can see, look, it's already dried. And now I just apply it to the nail. Light pressure. Then start to roll off, checking to see if everything is sticking on the nail. Okay, and there you go. Let's say, for instance, right here I have this space and I want to fill it up. Just look at my stamper, I still have some hearts on it. So all I'll do is just go back and add that heart. See? There you go. I'm going to clean up and I'll be back. Okay, I just finished cleaning up around my nails and what I used was a small brush with acetone. It doesn't have to be a fancy brush. Just something, you know, thin that you can clean up around your cuticle area. And now what's left to do is to apply your favorite top coat. I still have some glitter around my fingers because of this polish, but no worries. After all my nails have dried, what I'm going to do is wash them with soap and water, and that should eliminate anything that is stuck to my fingers. So what do you guys think? This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please take care, and happy stamping. Bye!